If you're into hiking and you're looking for some new sunglasses, look at all these options, stick around. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today, we're gonna to be looking at our top picks for men's hiking sunglasses. There's a lot to go over, so we're gonna jump right in, but things that I wanna make sure that you are aware of that we're looking for was generous coverage and protection, whether that mean a large lens, a little bit more of a wrap design, or other elements that will give you a little bit extra added protection from the super sunny, bright sunny days. Comfortable, obviously, you wanna be able to wear them without fussing with them for a long period of time. Lightweight is a good idea because you don't wanna to have to think about them once they're on your face. Grip is a good idea because you don't wanna to have to worry about fussing with them sliding down your face as you break a sweat. You don't wanna to have to keep pushing them up your nose. All of these are actually available in prescription, which is pretty cool. Definitely suits us at Sport RX. And uh, yeah, they're all also pretty darn cool. So stick around, I'm gonna talk about what all of these frames have to offer and why they might be right for you. If you are ready to order at the end of this, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. As much as I can tell you uh, what to expect out of these frames, it might just be that you try them on and they're not right for you and that's totally fine. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You just reach out to us and we take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, by the way, we have opticians, very friendly, trained, knowledgeable, who would love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us because we love hearing from you. Okay, let's dig into these frames. We're gonna start off with a Rudy Project. This is the Spin Air 57. If you're familiar with the Rudy Project lineup, you're probably aware that they are really solid in cycling, in the cycling world. Well, they do have some frames, especially this Spin Air collection that are amazing for more all around use, that more athleisure aesthetic. So keep in mind Spin Air 57 because there are other Spin Airs and the 57 is what we're looking at right here. Nice, more rectangular look, really good, I think, for on and off the trail. If you're looking for a frame that's gonna be an amazing all around pair, this definitely should be a contender. Lots of grip in this, grip in the temple, grip in the nose. Uh, there is some adjustability in the temple. You can give it a little bit more curvature to wrap it around behind the ear if you like that kind of fit. You can bring it in a little bit more to the head, uh, just a little bit more customization, a little bit better uh, potentially fit and comfort that you have as an option there. Nice, generous square lens, very lightweight. Uh, for how much frame material there is, it's not the lightest weight, I would say, by any means on this table, especially when we get to the very last one here. Uh, but compared to the amount of material that we have, it is surprisingly lightweight. Uh, so definitely uh, something to note there. This double bridge design gives you a little bit more airflow, a little bit more circulation to help minimize the potential for fogging if you do have struggles with that. Uh, really good style, really solid, and with an SFW of 134, this will land you in that like medium fit range. Next up, we have a Jewel Bow. If you're unfamiliar with Jewel Bow, I'm a huge fan of Jewel Bow. They make really, really solid frames. They're really, really deep in the world of mountaineering. They make some amazing mountaineering frames, but they also make some frames that are notable for just all around use. And in this case, hiking, amazing frames. In this case, we have the Renegade. Really interesting design because it is a six base, but it has more of a contoured fit that acts like a wraparound, which is pretty great for sun protection. You have very thick, durable elements in this frame, really beefy hinge. Uh, a lot of material, and again, despite all of that material, it's still actually surprisingly lightweight. They have some shock absorbing nose pads. You can handle a lot of movement on more rough terrain. There is grip in that uh, nose pad as well, as well as in the inside of the temple where it makes contact with the side of your head. It is available in a variety of jewelable lens colors and with their photochromic reactive lenses. If you're not familiar with Jewelbo, you wouldn't know this, but they have a lot of really unique, really cool photochromic lenses that uh, you kind of really can't get anywhere else. Like I said, very unique. Great if you hike in areas with varying light conditions uh, in shade or trees or whatever you may have. 
Also, those lenses are available in prescription, which is a very cool thing. Uh, a solid frame. I like it a lot, and I think you should check it out. It has an SFW of 135, which will land you at a pretty solid medium fit. Next up, we have the Portal X. This is coming out of Oakley. This is one of my absolute favorite Oakley frames. Really, really solid athleisure style, and you can't go wrong with this. It is performance frame meets all around athleisure everyday frame, even lifestyle, I would say. There definitely are some a little more sporty elements, especially in that temple. You can see a little bit more angular, but I think it looks great. I think it does not add a place at all as an everyday pair either. A lot of grip in this guy, especially in the inside of the temple and on the top of the ear. So where it meets the side of the head and where it makes contact with the top of your ear. And this uh, nose piece, I love. I always talk about it because I think it's amazing. I think that they need to keep doing this forever because it's great. It is a saddle style nose bridge, which I love because a saddle style helps to disperse weight a little more evenly across your nose, as well as having more surface contact area, which means even better grip. And what they did with this is they made it uh, a little more modular. So you have actually two other nose bridge sizes that come with this to give you that much more customized fit on your bridge, which is fantastic. It's made out of O matter, which is Oakley's proprietary frame material, which is very lightweight, very durable. This isn't quite as flexible, but they do a great job with their three point fit system of making sure that it fits you with no fuss. This has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands you in a medium to large fit. And next up, we have a Costa. This is the Slack Tide. If you hike near bodies of water or want the versatility to enjoy other water hobbies, for instance, Costa is the way to go. This is, uh, it's been around for a little while. It's not a brand new style, and it definitely is a little more of a lifestyle athleisure. If you're familiar with Costa, you know that they are really big in the fishing world, and they have a lot of awesome, very aggressively fishing models that are available. And this is a little more, I think, of kind of a West Coast vibe to it. Maybe it's that West Costa that they're trying to hit. And I think it's great. I think it's a really solid frame. Again, another good kind of athleisure piece. We are talking Costa. And so why I'm saying near bodies of water is because it is only available in polarized. Everything they do is polarized. That 580 lens tech is fantastic. It's amazing and it's, it's all polarized. So keep that in mind. I usually don't push polarize too terribly strongly just because there is a potential and some people have issues with depth perception cues being affected with polarized lenses. It's not always the case. It definitely is much better with those top tier lens techs and that 580 lens tech is definitely more top tier. There is a little bit of venting design into this in the, in the temple right here in the temple front uh, or the frame front where it meets the temple which is gonna to help to encourage ventilation, which is gonna to help to minimize that fogging potential, which is great. They do have grip on the inside of the temple. They have grip uh, uh, where it makes contact with the top of the ear and on the inside of the head, and they do have grip in the nose. So, uh, and it's that hydrolite material, by the way, if you are not familiar with their material names. Hydrolite is just, it's uh, similar to the unobtainium that you get, which is the hydrophilic. It grips better even as you sweat. Really, really solid grip material. Also, this is keeper ready, by the way. These notches in the temples allow you to get a keeper. They have a number of different keeper designs. That means that if you like having a, a leash kind of design, that'll f work really well with this style. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands it in that medium to large range. Next up, we have a Nike. This is the Adrenaline 2. I think this is the most just straightforward wrap sunglass on the market. If you are someone who wants something simple, straightforward, just a great wrapped sunglass, this is an awesome option for you. It is a full eight base wrap. It is very versatile. It has kind of a lifestyle element to it, in, at least in terms of its aesthetic. Uh, usually I don't call an eight base frame a lifestyle frame, but it does have kind of an all around just wrap design to it. And it is made out of nylon. So very good quality. And it's going to last you a long time, stand up to even more 
stand up to more than just your typical wear and tear. The high tension hinges will give you just the right amount of tension and grip. It doesn't have any grip material to speak of in the temple or in the nose, but it does have this texturized temple tip, which does help to directionalize sweat and moisture to keep it off of your head in that contact area spot, which is gonna help to give it a little bit better grip. In non-prescription, it does have the option of Nike Max Optics lenses, which are great, but in prescription, uh, you have the option of all of our sport optimized lenses. So you can check those out if you are a prescription wearer. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 136 millimeters yet again, so it's that good medium to large fit. And next up we have a Smith. This is the Pathway. This is a relatively new addition to Smith's lineup and I'm a big fan of it. It is more of a wrap design, something a little more unique about it than your typical wrap, I think, and probably because of that gigantic lens. This lens is huge. There's a little bit of a notch on the outer corner. I don't know if there's any function for that. I think it's more of a more of an aesthetic thing, but I think it looks cool. Gives it a little more than uh, a little more character than your typical rectangular or even kind of geometric lens shape. They went with their Evolve frame material, of course, which is eco-friendly and lightweight. I'll be honest with you, it's not the lightest weight frame in the world, relatively lightweight for sure. They went with their hydrophilic Megal material, of course, as well in the grip, and that's gonna be in the bridge and in the nose. So this is definitely gonna stay on your face and in place very securely. They have their auto lock hinges for easy one hand on and off, which is really nice. It is available with their Chromapop lens technology in non-prescription. In prescription, it is usually available, that Chromapop lens tech. Right now we're having some issues, so check that timestamp may be available, but maybe not. You can always reach out to our opticians. They are working on getting that back online. And so hopefully any day now, and again, if you're interested, if you love that Chroma Pop Lens technology, which I totally understand, uh, and you need it in prescription, reach out to us. We'll help you out with that. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW yet again of 136 millimeters, which is a good medium to large fit. And last but certainly not least, we have the Maui Gym Red Sands. The very first thing that you are going to notice about this frame, the minute you touch it, is that it is crazy lightweight. It is insane how lightweight this frame is. It is like, it's amazing. I don't know what they did. There is a, a there are a few different styles that Maui Gym makes that all utilize this frame material or this frame material design, whatever you would call it. Uh, and it's it's incredible. So if you're looking for lightweight, if you love lightweight, it doesn't get any more lightweight than this Red Sands. Really super versatile, one of our absolute favorites here at SportRx. Uh, and it not only performs on hiking, but is a great look for all around, even formal occasions as well. There's grip a little bit on the inside of the temple where it makes contact with your head, but there is plenty of grip on the nose piece as well. And while we're talking about that nose piece, I love to mention the fact that it is adjustable. It's the only one on this table that has an adjustable nose pad, which is fantastic. If you've ever had issues with bridge fit, you know how important that is. You have full customizability in terms of adjustability in this nose bridge, which is great. The lens tech, we can't talk about Maui without talking about that lens tech. The Polarized Plus 2 is fantastic. If you noticed, again, I said polarized. This is only available in polarized. That same tech is also available in prescription, but again, only polarized. But we are talking about top tier polarized lens tech. And so I, again, don't think it's an issue at all wearing this hiking. I don't get complaints really ever about those depth perception cue issues when we're talking Maui Jim's polarized lens tech. It's pretty fantastic. This is also available in readers, which is a pretty cool side note if you're not familiar with what that means. Uh, if you are getting a little bit older and you need help with seeing up close, but your distance vision is just fine, this gives you an option of an off-the-shelf reader which has a little bifocal etched in the back side of the lens, which gives you that magnification where you need it and no correction up top. And so really good, best of both worlds, best of all worlds available for you. Uh, and when it comes to fit, when it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 138 millimeters, which is a pretty solid, large fit. So 
So that wraps it up for our top picks for men's hiking sunglasses. Seven amazing options where you really can't go wrong. I hope now you have some solid contenders for your next perfect pair. If you are liking any of these and you're ready to buy, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And if you are ready to buy, again, do not forget about that Sea Bitter guarantee. I really think it gives you a huge amount of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, our opticians would love to help you so you can reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like. It helps us out, you guys. You can find relevant videos over here. If you are ready to shop any of these amazing styles, you can click this easy, very easy to click button and it'll take you directly to them. If you want some more interesting, fun, exciting content, you should check us out on our social media outlets. I think you'll like it and I think you should do it because I think you'll like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> check us out. <laughs>